Hey everybody, thanks for being with us today. We've had a little bit of a layoff, so we're excited to be back with you. As you can see, we have our daughter here in the background. She's coming up on a month old, so she's gonna be joining us today. So what we have for you today, we have a 30 minute kettlebell workout. So grab a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, grab a dumbbell. A dumbbell will totally work. So you know what? Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. Let's grab that kettlebell and get warmed up. I want you to grab your kettlebell upside down, holding the horns, and we're gonna do a halo. Your right bicep by your right ear, drop it behind your head, left bicep by left ear, and then drop it in front of you again. So we're just going a nice controlled movement. We're gonna do about five in one direction, and then we'll go five in the other direction. So warming up that upper body. All right, let's switch directions, other side. Left bicep by left ear to start with, good. Moving around, keep your torso still. We don't wanna swing those hips around, no dancing around. Last one. Okay, now we're gonna do a slingshot. Now you're gonna grab the kettlebell right side up. You're gonna swing it behind your body, grab it with your left hand. So here we're just keeping our torso stable. Shoulders upright. Wanna make sure we're not rounding forward. I just kinda of showed you sloppily. Nice, tall posture. Two more in this direction and we'll go in the other direction. And let's swing it the other way. We're just kinda of learning how to swing a kettlebell around with tall posture. Good form, good. Do three more. Swing that kettlebell, don't move those hips around, Brad. Last one. We're gonna grab it upside down again. Into our chest, we're gonna do a squat. So we're gonna squat nice and low as you can. We're gonna stay here. I want you to shift your weight to the right side, keeping your heel on the ground. Shift your weight to the left side, heel in the ground, and then stand tall. And do five of those. So we're opening up our hips, sit. We're rocking for our ankle mobility to the right, rock to the left, a little more ankle mobility to the left, and stand. Three more, and squat. Shift right, good, shift left, and stand. When you sit into one side, don't let that heel come off the ground, just go as far as you can. Feeling a stretch to the back of your ankle. Two more. Good, shift right, shift left, and stand. Last one, squat, shift right and left and stand. Okay, back up, let's do halos again. One more time, all the way around in one direction. Let's go five, this is two. And around for three, and around for four. One more, we'll go in the other direction. Good, you guys. Okay, and other way. Let's go, really feel that movement through your shoulders, your lats, good. We often round our shoulders too much. We're sitting at a desk in a car on our phones. This helps open us up. All right, bring it down in front of you, slingshots. Let's go around your body, nice tall posture. Engage your glutes, squeeze them tight. Helps keep those hips from moving around, okay? Nice tall posture. Good, swing it. One more, and other direction. Swing that kettlebell. Good, catch it and swing, catch it and swing. Good job, three more, one, and two, and three. Bring it right up, five squats, and squat. Shift to the right, shift to the left, and stand. When you rotate to that, or when you lean your weight to the right, press that elbow too on that knee. It helps keep your uh, legs all the way open, stretching your inner thighs. Good, this is number three. Left and stand. Two more, squat. Right, left, and stand. Last one, squat. Right, left, and stand. Good work, let's set those kettlebells down, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what our next movements are. All right, in this first circuit, we're gonna have 30 seconds of work to a 10 second rest. First exercise is a suitcase or bent over row. I want you to hinge your hips back, shoulders stay square, pull your elbow to your side, working your lats, come right back down. This offset weight forces us to keep our core stable. Exercise one. Exercise two is a clean, going back into that hinge pattern. So you're gonna hinge your hips back. Grab your weight, you're gonna explode those hips forward, driving the weight up. Okay, so your hips are gonna explode forward, weight up, elbow reaches for the ceiling, catch it right um, in your, by your bicep near your shoulder, right back down. So it's a clean, which is a hinge pattern, drive your hips forward, elbow up to a catch. Exercise number three is going to be a shoulder press, keeping it in this position, press straight overhead, bicep by that ear, come right back down. The final exercise, we're combining all three movements. So we're gonna do for 30 seconds, you're gonna add, do a row, you're gonna clean it, you're gonna press it. 
come right back down. You'll row, you'll clean it, and you'll press it. So one round, one side, we'll go to the other arm, do it again, come back to the right and back to the left. So four total rounds of all those movements. Got it? Let's do this. All right, we're gonna work together. I'm gonna coach Brad through it. We're gonna start in five seconds with our bench over row. Okay, so grab your weight, hinge those hips back, elbow to your side. Stay stable in this position, pulling that elbow right to the base of your hip. Try not to drive it upwards. So sometimes people drive it up. We gotta almost lock it in that hip socket. Good, and pull. Keep those shoulders square, squeeze your glutes. Good, draw on that torso, stay stable. Nice and controlled. Come on, we've got this. Almost there, in three, two, one. All right, set that weight down, 10 second rest. We're doing our cleans next. Remember, really focus on hinging those hips back then exploding them forward, okay? Ready, and go to a clean catch it. So think about your elbow going up to the ceiling and then around the kettlebell. People often like to swing the kettlebell up to their arm. You wanna keep the kettlebell as close to your body as you can, okay? The power comes from the hips, driving that kettlebell up. We wanna not focus on bicep curling it, okay? Elbow up and flip that. Flip your arm underneath that kettlebell. Two, one. All right, 10 second rest. You can set it down for a second if you need. We're gonna lock it right back in and we're gonna do a shoulder press. Okay, so let it rest right here on your bicep. Thumb starts at your collarbone, press overhead, right back down. Keep those hips stable, core stable. I often like to put my hand on my core so I feel it stay strong. Good, if you get tired, slow it down. This is good, strong strength movements. Good, I'm feeling this. It's been a while since we've done much. This is good. 10 more seconds. We're going to the other side. Come on, keep going. Nice square shoulders. Exhale as you press up. All right, other side. So starting, oh, not other side. We're combining all three movements. This is the fun part, it's the flow part. Okay, we're starting with a row. So row, clean, press. Come right back down. Hinge, row, clean, press. Come on, you guys, back down. Row, clean it, nice stable hips, press. And down, row, clean, press. Come on, 10 more seconds. We can do at least one more of these. Row, clean, press. We got one more, we have five. Row, clean, press, yes. All right, now we're doing the other side. All right, get ready. Five seconds, we're starting with our bent over or suitcase rows. Okay, hinge down, stay stable in this position. Good, I'm gonna keep those arms straight like Brad's doing so he knows that he's not moving. Sometimes I put it on my waist, whatever you feel comfortable. Remember, elbow back towards that hip socket, not straight up to the ceiling. Okay, that really puts too much pressure in the front of your shoulder if you let it dump forward. Okay, eight seconds. Good, pull and pull, work that lat. Strong, stable core. All right, set it down in between. Always think about it lining up in the middle of your laces. Don't put that kettlebell in front here. You're gonna pull with your back, okay? Middle of your laces and clean it up. Right back down. No press, not this round yet. I know once we get going, we kind of like to flow through it. It's kind of fun to add multiple movements but we just wanna work on this one form first before we flow it together. Good, come on, we've got this. Back, hips forward, explode through those hips, driving through those heels. Power in that movement, it's not just an upper body movement, you really focus on your lower body. Good, two, last one. All right, we're pressing overhead. And let's press, 30 seconds, straight up overhead. Reach that bicep by that left ear. Good, try not to press too far in front. Someone who press in front, that really strains the top of your shoulder. Reach for the ceiling, right back down. Bring it down, thumb next to your collarbone, and press, nice stable hip. You wanna not use lower body to use power in this movement. You want strict shoulder presses. 10 more seconds, good. And press, go at your own pace. With whatever weight you have, you may be able to knock them out a little bit faster or a little slower. All right, now we're gonna combine them all. Remember, bent over row, clean to a press. 30 seconds, hinge those hips back. 
Ready? And go. Row. Clean. Press. Good. Back down. Row. Clean it. And press. Strict presses. Stay strong. Row. Clean. Press. When you press, don't let your back arch. Keep your core stable. And press. Good. And row. And clean. And press. Eight more seconds. Row. Clean. Press. Come on, almost there, last one. Great job, you guys. Okay, back to the other side. One more round each. Okay, starting with our rows, bent over rows, hands down and row. Stay stable. Doing our pulling movement right now. Good. Awesome work, you guys. Go at the pace that your weight that you have that challenges you. If it's slow and controlled, that's awesome. If it's a little bit faster because your weight is a little lighter, move faster. Eight seconds. Good. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, cleans. Set it down. All right. We're rocking it. <clears throat> Five seconds. Remember, stay focused on driving that elbow up, bringing your arm around the weight, not the weight around your arm. Brad loves to add that press. Just clean it. Hips back, drive the elbow up. Flip your elbow around the weight. Good. Almost like a little flick of the wrist. Good. Hips back, drive through those heels, hips forward. Eight seconds. Good. We've got it. Almost there. Two. Last one. All right. Presses. We're doing great, you guys. When you hold in here, really think about pulling that shoulder blade back. We don't want to not round forward. Okay, don't keep that rounded forward position. Press up. We don't want it, our scapula to tip forward. Good. Press up. Nice, stable torso and hips. Try not to let that back arch when you reach. Sometimes people extend those hips forward when they get sloppy. We want to stay nice, tall posture. Five seconds and we're combining them all. Good. Two. One. Good. All right, let's combine them. We're doing great. Hips back, start with your row. So row, clean, press. Row, clean, press. Back down. Row, clean, press. Stay strong. Row, clean, press. Really use those hips in that clean. Don't just focus on your arms. Use that hinge pattern, extending those hips forward. Good, eight seconds. Row, clean, press. We can do one more. Row, clean, press, yes. All right, last side. Starting with our rows. We're doing great, you guys. You're doing great. You're doing great. Let's row. Come on, nice, stable. Sorry, square shoulders. We want to keep our shoulders very square. Don't let them round and row. We're not doing like a lawnmower row. We're staying square. Good. Pull elbow to your side. Strong movement. 10 seconds. Good. Eight. You can do this. Stay solid and breathe. Two, one. All right, we have our cleans. Minute and a half left of work in this round. All right, hinge those hips back. Nice, strong torso, flat back, and clean it up. No pressing yet. Hips back, clean, good. Try not to look up when you hinge your hips back. We often like to look straight forward. I want you to look down to the ground when the weight comes to the ground. We want our neck to be very neutral. No ex extending or flexing of the neck. 10 more seconds. Good. Five. Two. One. All right. And press it. Lock it back up. Again, don't let your shoulders round forward in this position. Nice big posture. And press. Good. Let's go. Keep that torso engaged. Kind of like somebody's gonna come give you a sucker punch in the belly. Keep it strong. Squeeze those glutes. Almost there. 
10 seconds. Strict presses. Breathe. In four, three, two, one. All right, combining them all. You guys got this. Get ready, five seconds. Remember, row, clean, press. Let's knock it out. All right, row, clean, press. And back down. Row, clean, press. Let's go, you guys. Clean, press. Use those hips for that clean. Drive through those heels. Your lower body is much stronger than your upper body. So if it starts to get tiresome, your hips will help get that kettlebell up wrap to your shoulder. Good, last one. Come on, you give me one more. Clean, press. Yes, we're done with that round. Grab a sip of water if you need. We're gonna do another round of exercises. Okay, next round, we're gonna stick to the same pattern. Three new exercises. First one is going to be a deadlift, a one-arm deadlift. So we're gonna start with that weight back in the center of our laces, like our clean. We're gonna hinge our hips back, shoulders stay square, hip exploding forward, right back down. So a deadlift. We're gonna go back for exercise number two to our clean. We're gonna really practice this pattern today. So weight back down, we're gonna clean it up. Again, 30 seconds, right back down. Exercise two, exercise three, we're gonna stay racked here, or we're gonna do a front squat for 30 seconds. Then we'll combine them all again. So we'll start with the weight on the ground, you're gonna do a deadlift, put the weight back to the ground, you're gonna clean, and we're gonna do a front squat, so full lower body in this round. Got it? 30 seconds, 10 second transition, two, so two rounds each side. Okay, let's get started. Let's set those weights in the middle of our laces. Nice straight line, we're doing our deadlift, so hinge those hips back, hips back, drive those heels, hips forward. Make sure you're getting your shoulders are square, your hips going back. I wanna see nobody with rounded backs. That's gonna, if I'm, you're doing what I'm doing, you're gonna pull from your back. We're gonna end up with back pain. So reach your butt back like you're trying to reach the wall behind you or you have a bag full of groceries and you're trying to bump your car door closed. Let's go, come on. Five seconds. Back hip forward. Really practicing that hinge pattern in this round. All right, set the weight down. We're gonna go back to our cleans. It's kind of a challenging movement for people, so it's good that you're practicing it multiple times. All right, send those hips back and to a catch. It's a great transitional exercise too when we start doing like these flows, because it takes the weight from the bottom, doing a lower body exercise to the top. A nice, powerful movement. Good, let's go. Once you perfect this form, we can add more fun movements next time. Come on, we've got it. Power it up, drive that elbow up, then bring it uh, down and around to the kettlebell. All right, keep it racked up. We're gonna do our front squat. So thumb is next to your collarbone. Elbow is slightly forward, not straight down by your side here. Staying strong. Having this weight offset forces you to stay strong through your torso not have any hip shifts, which people often do. Good, sit into those heels. Always show me your shirt, show the camera your shirt, so we're not rounding, so we're not dumping forward in our squat, okay? Good. Eight seconds. Nice job, you guys. In four, we're going to the other side. Nope, I always say that, we're gonna combine it all. I always forget the combination one. Okay, set it down, deadlift, clean, front squat. All right, put it down, Brad, in the middle of those legs. All right, deadlift, clean it, front squat it. Good, set it right back down. Deadlift, clean it, front squat it. When you set it down, just kind of let it come right really close to your body. Deadlift, clean, squat, right down. Deadlift, clean, and squat. Sit low in that squat. Last one, deadlift. Clean, squat. Makes you have to think about it too. Keeps you focused, it kind of distracts you from the time and you're just focused on each movement. All right, doing our deadlift with the opposite side. Line up the middle of that kettlebell in the middle of your laces and deadlift. Try not to shrug your shoulders when you stand up. Some people I see, they try to reach with, they use their traps to kind of reach up. We wanna keep our shoulders very square. Good, hips back, hips forward, back and forward. Nice stretch to those hamstrings. It's not fully straight legs. 
The only way your legs are bending is because your butt is going backwards. Your calves and your shins are still vertical to the ground. Two, one. All right, clean their necks. Good, making sure that we're not bending into a squat. Notice my shins aren't vertical anymore. Sending those hips back, your shins still stay vertical. Let's go. Clean it, right back down. Power, hips back, drive it up. Good. Come on, keep pushing you guys. Halfway through this exercise, back. Drive through those heels. Good. Look down to the ground as you set that weight down. Don't keep staring at the television. Last one. Good. Okay, keep it locked in, in front of you. When you're squats, I want you to also kind of pay attention to your knees. Your knees should not cave in when you squat. So at that bottom of the squat, Look, are they lined up over your second and third toes? Especially if you stand up, I see a lot of people, those knees deviate in, like I'm demoing, which is incorrect. Keep them out. We're rotating those hips out when we squat. Good, you guys. Squat to stand, sit back into those heels. Show me your shirt. Eight seconds. And sit, externally rotating those hips. Don't let those knees come in, work your bum. All right, let's combine them all. Starting with our deadlift. Again, always line up, kettlebell with your laces, start off right. No pulling with your back. And hinge, deadlift, clean, squat. Good. Deadlift, clean, squat. Nice, low squat, set it right back down. Deadlift, clean, squat. Good, you guys. Deadlift, clean, and squat. Do one to two more. Deadlift, clean, squat. Good, last one, come on. Deadlift, clean, good, squat. All right, one more each side. We've got this, you guys. You okay, Miss, little Miss Ellie, let's go, deadlift. Only deadlift, hips back, hips forward. Stay strong in your torso, back stays neutral. No rounding, good. I want you to make sure that we're not often at the top, people extend their hips forward too far with an arch back, like I'm showing, which is really not right. So just think about nice tall, there's a pull straight from your head all the way down to the ground. Five seconds. We can do it. Two, one. All right, we have our cleans next, you guys. Nice job. All right, start right, line up that kettlebell, shoulders stay square, hips back, cleans. Clean it up, set it right back down. Hips back, hips forward. Good, let's go, you guys. We've got this. Drive the elbow up, catch it right by your bicep. When you catch it, think about your palm of your, of your hand is facing the middle of your chest, midline. Good, 10 more seconds. You can do this, five. Back, drive through those heels. Two, one. All right, we're squatting. Keep that thumb by your collarbone, elbow slightly forward. You don't have to have it slowly lifted up, just kind of about 45 degrees. And down and up. And then back. Good, you guys. Let's go. Make sure that those knees aren't caving in. We talked about this earlier. Focus on good form. Each movement. Good, 10 more seconds. Sit back. Nice strong torso, especially at that bottom. Three, two, one. All right, let's combine all three, you guys. Deadlift, clean, squat. All right. I'm ready. Mentally, let's do this. Hips back, deadlift, clean it, and squat. Right back down. Deadlift, clean, squat. Wherever you are, if you get messed up with the pattern, just jump right back in. Start fresh and squat. Good, let's go. Deadlift, clean, squat. 10 more seconds. Down, deadlift, clean, squat. Good, let's go. Almost there. Finish it out, you guys. Finish that squat if you're with us. Good. All right, last round on the other side. Starting with our deadlift. Get set up, 
Good, toes forward, deadlift, hips back. You can do this. Always look down when your chest falls down. Let your uh, gaze be forward when you stand tall. Good. You want your spine to be very neutral. Too often people look up when they deadlift. You want to look down. Set that weight in the middle of those laces every time. Don't let it drift forward in front of your toes, okay? All right, clean it. Whew. Five seconds, get ready. Final round, go at a good pace. Stay strong. All right, clean. Back down, hip back. Drive it up with those, with your lower body. Good. Let's go, you guys. Almost there. We're over a minute left of work. We can do this. Remember to put that kettlebell in the proper place every time. Don't let your weight drift forward. You're gonna pull in your back. People often say, oh, I hurt my back. Did let's hurt my back. It's because you're probably drifting your weight forward. Keep that weight in between those laces. Lock it up. Let's finish out those squats. Down and up. Good. Let's go. Keep that thumb next to your collarbone. Remember to externally rotate those hips. Knees going over your second and third toes, not in, okay? Let's do this. 10 more seconds. Last five, come on, you can do this. We're combining all three. And set it down. Final 30 seconds, rock it out. Finish strong. Yes, work hard. Two, one, and deadlift. Clean, squat. Good, sit low in that squat. Deadlift, use power in this clean. Drive that weight up with your hips. Back to deadlift, deadlift. Clean, squat. Halfway, deadlift, clean, squat. Eight seconds, let's go. We can do it, give me one more. Deadlift, final clean, final squat. Yes, good job you guys, set those weights down. This is going to be our last round. We're gonna do two core exercises, 30 seconds with a 10 second rest. We're gonna get down to the ground and we have you grab your kettlebell you're gonna sit with your back flat on the ground, kettlebell reaches for the sky. From here, I want your knees off the ground. Now I want you to let your kettlebell drop about 45 degrees. It's gonna create tension. We're gonna keep that kettlebell at an angle. You're gonna reach your legs out and pull them in. Make sure your back doesn't arch. If this feels too much of a challenge, you're gonna do one leg at a time, keeping that kettlebell still the whole time. If you feel strong, you can let that kettlebell drop all the way behind you. It's a little bit too heavy for me, so I'm gonna stay about 45 degrees. Second exercise is our twist. We've all done twists before, but we're gonna say it's a little heavy because we all have been weighted kettlebells. You're gonna keep your knees and your toes stable. Think about squeezing your legs together. You're gonna grab your kettlebell, and you're gonna lean back, and we're just gonna shift left to a controlled right. Making sure those knees don't move. If your knees aren't moving and you wanna take those legs off the ground, legs off the ground, but I don't want to see moving back and forth. That's not correct. Two exercises, 30 seconds. We're gonna do them each three times. Get down to the ground. All right, final, final round of movements. Stay controlled and focused. This should not be fast. This should be challenging for you, okay? Okay, put that weight about 45 degrees, extend those legs out, pull them in. Exhale, inhale as those legs come in. Stay strong. Draw that belly in as your legs go out. If this feels a bit of a challenge, bring one leg down, the other leg down, or do both at the same time. Stay focused. This is not about showing off here. We have to stay strong in that torso. Good. All right, let's sit up. So think about there's something between those knees. Squeeze them together. Lean back, create a nice C curve. And then just nice and controlled, left to right. If this feels too heavy and you start rounding forward because the weight is heavy, put the weight down. Okay, we don't have to have the weight. Good, and if those legs come off the ground, don't let those knees move. Your knees should be very still. <sighs> Open up that chest. Good tall posture. Five seconds. Two, one. 
All right, back down to the ground. Start with that weight over your chest and then slowly drop it behind you till you feel good tension with your knees at 90 and then extend those legs out, pull them in. Don't let that weight move. If it feels too much of a pull because the weight is too heavy, you can even just hold it straight over your chest. So I want you to try to reach it behind you. Inhale as those legs go out, exhale as you pull them in. You can do this. If you need to do one leg at a time, do one leg. Good. Breathe. Almost there. All right, sit it up. Whew, we're working our abs. So focus like you have a piece of paper between those knees. Squeeze it together. Keep the feet on the ground. If you feel comfortable, you can take those knees, those feet off the ground and twist. Good, tuck that pelvis under. Your back should not be arched. Big chest. Good, come on, almost there. 10 seconds. In five. And three, come on, you can do this. Two, one. All right, back to the ground, last one. Last round. Reach that weight overhead, knees go up to 90 degrees. Now reach that weight behind you about 45, and then extend one leg out or both legs out, whatever you can do. Focus on your breath. So exhale, inhale in, exhale out, inhale in, exhale out, inhale in. Come on, you can do this. Exhale out, inhale in. Come on, keep pushing, you have five seconds. Almost there. Okay, final 30. Final 30 seconds. Lean back, knees together. I'll open up your chest. Don't round forward with this. Big chest. We always want good posture. And everything we do makes us proud, makes us strong, and makes us confident. Always good posture. 15. Shift left, elbow to your side, and right, elbow to your side. Eight seconds. You can do this. And three, two, one, and done. Nice job, you guys. Thanks for joining us today. We sure got a good workout in. I hope you did too. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and we look forward to seeing you next time.